Welcome to my channel. I make videos on bags and fashion. Some of my viewers told me they'd like to hear my thoughts on Palen bags, so I recently purchased the Palen Number no. One Mini. In today's video, I'll show you some mod shots and what fits in the bag. I have always been a fan of Palen bags. I love the feminine silhouette of their designs, and their Instagram page is just dreamy. Their bags give the perfect balance of femininity and simplicity. If you're interested, please keep on watching and subscribe for future content. Also, leave a comment down below if there are any brands you'd like me to test out. Before starting this video, just a little disclaimer. This video is not sponsored. I bought this bag with my own money and I always try to give my honest opinion. Palen is a French brand, so um, excuse me if I pronounce the brand name in the wrong way. They have a lot of beautiful designs, so um, it was pretty hard to decide which bag to get. I ended up getting the number one mini because I feel like the size is perfect as a day bag and it suits my lifestyle the best. If you have watched the TV show Emily in Paris, you have probably seen this bag. Um, the character Camille has this bag in black color and it looks so chic on her. I'm in love with this bag and I think I'm going to purchase another Palen bag, perhaps their new number 10 hobo bag, so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. First of all, let's start with some basic information of this bag including the dimensions and price. The number 1 style comes in different variations, I think they have a nano, a bigger version and also a backpack version. And um, the number 1 mini is my favorite because of the size and I love how it looks with gold hardware and a chain strap. I ordered this bag online and the packaging is beautiful. It feels really premium and it's also pretty simplistic so um, you won't produce too much packaging waste. It comes with a box and a dust bag. This bag comes in many beautiful colors. Um, I think the black and the burgundy one are really chic as well, but I have many bags in black and burgundy, so um, I didn't go for the winter colors. And some also include a suede flap, but I didn't go for the suede because I always wear dark wash jeans and I don't really know how to take care of suede and I'm kind of worried of color transfer. The bag that I have here is in a full leather version in the color monochrome pink. This is the perfect pink for me. It looks really youthful and it's also a neutral color that can go with a lot of outfits. It currently retails for 380 US dollars and the price does not include shipping. Um, I would say it's pretty much the same price point as Sanrev and also LM. I have made detailed review videos on Sunruff bags, including their Aria belt bag, a Luna bag, and Maestra. Um, you can check out my Sunruff collection video if you're interested. LM is also one of my favorite brands. I have their Baozi bag and the design is just really unique and special. Palen shipping is pretty fast. They ship it with DHL and I received the bag within one week. Their bags are handmade in Spain and um, the one that I have here is in full grained calf leather. The quality of the leather is amazing. It feels pretty soft. It's actually kind of similar to the Sunref Dolce leather. It feels really premium without being too delicate. So um, I actually don't really baby my bags. And so far it's pretty scratch and stain resistant. I'll put the dimensions of this bag on the screen. You can see how the size compares to my iPhone 8 Plus. I would say it's also pretty similar to the Sunref Aluna in size. Um, let me know if you'd like me to make a comparison video on the Palen No. 1 Mini and the Sunref Aluna bag. The Palen No. 1 Mini actually fits more than I expected. Um, I'm not sure maybe it's because the leather is pretty soft and flexible. Um, I can even put an umbrella and water bottle in it. I'll show you what fits in this bag later on in this video, so um, keep on watching. I'm not sure if they state the weight of this bag on their website, so um, I want to show you how much it weighs. Um, for a leather bag with a chain strap, I wouldn't say it's a super lightweight bag and also it's not really heavy. I would say it's pretty average. It weighs about 550 grams 
and um, so far it's pretty comfortable carrying it around and um, just don't put too much in it. The strap, the clasp closure and feet are all in the beautiful gold hardware. The chain strap is adjustable but um, it can't really make a big difference because basically there are only two positions for the chain strap to cling on, unlike leather straps that have a lot of holes for adjustment. Um, so I don't think I will adjust this strap, I'll just leave it as it is. I love how this bag has feet to protect the base and also the bag can stand on itself. I don't really know how to describe the closure of this bag. It's kind of like a clasp with a magnetic closure. It's actually pretty easy to get in and out of this bag and I can close the bag with one hand. It's also pretty secure. When you open the bag, you can kind of see um, the pleating or the folding and it gives the special shape of this bag. Um, it's actually attached by buttons. You can expand the bag for easier access, but I don't really undo the buttons because I want to maintain the shape of this bag and I like how it creates the pleating details. I have watched some reviews and people mention how um, when they put too much in it, the buttons might pop off, but so far I don't have this problem. Overall, the bag is pretty understated and I love how it looks premium without being too flashy. Sometimes I'm kind of fed up with big logos and complicated patterns. I love how it's super classic and it goes with a lot of outfits. So now I want to show you some mod shots and you'll see how this bag looks like on person. I'm pretty petite, I'm about 5'2". I wear this bag as a shoulder bag or a crossbody. As I'm on the shorter side, before purchasing this bag, I was a bit worried the strap would be too long and the bag might look awkward on me. Um, but after trying it on, I think it hangs pretty nicely. So if you're around the same height as me, you don't have to worry about the strap length. Talking about the chain strap, I was a bit hesitant because I normally prefer leather strap. A leather strap is generally more comfortable and it gives a more casual vibe. And actually in a lot of my other videos, I mentioned how I love a leather strap. But for this bag, I feel like a leather strap wouldn't look as good as a chain strap. Um, the chain strap can elevate the look of this bag and the gold hardware is just beautiful. I think it's the first time I prefer a chain strap over a leather strap. And I've used this bag for two days. So far, the chain strap is pretty comfortable. But of course, if you put too much in it or if you're wearing a tank top or when you're doing a lot of walking, it might dig a bit into your shoulder. This bag is pretty versatile and I love the pink color. It goes well with my casual outfits and it will also look really elegant if you pair it with a blazer. So now let's have a look at the compartments of this bag and see what fits inside. Um, it has a cotton lining so um, even if you're putting your sunglasses or your phone in it, you don't have to worry about scratches. It can fit my sunglasses, a small notebook, my iPhone 8 Plus, an umbrella and my Charles and Keith long wallet. Um, you can check out my video on my Charles and Keith SRG collection if you're interested. Um, I feel like their card holders and wallets are really affordable and also the quality is amazing. It can also fit my portable charger and my AirPods and some makeup items. As you can see, it can fit a ton and um, if I'm not taking my umbrella and portable charger with me, I can also fit a water bottle in it. So um, for me, it's a perfect day bag and also a great travel bag. But I try not to overpack because um, it can get a bit heavy if you put too much in it. And also, I don't want to distort the shape of this beautiful bag. As you can see, it has an exterior pocket. It can fit your travel card or your phone, so it's really convenient. So this is pretty much it for this video. It's kind of like a first impression review video because I literally got this bag last week. And I think I'm going to use it for a few months and make an update review. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this bag, I would love to tell you more about it. I'm very happy with this purchase and I'm planning to get another Polen bag, perhaps their new number 10 hobo bag. I really love Polen style. Leave a comment and let me know what you think and whether you'd like to see another review video on Polen bags. Thanks for watching as always. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!